Once loved for its high pace, gritty style and passionate fans, the Liga MX in Mexico is on a steep decline. We're seeing reduced attendances, lower quality on the pitch itself, and some troubling decisions at the league's highest level, which is changing the overall landscape of Mexican football. So grab some snacks, relax, and let's have a little talk about some of the key issues that are plaguing Mexican football. First up, let's talk about the actual status of the Liga MX. The World Football Rankings has marked Liga MX as the 14th best in the world, but it pales behind the MLS, which is currently in ninth. No matter how good or how bad things are in Mexico, the main target is to make sure that they're doing better than whatever is going on in the US. So these current rankings is going to hurt a lot of people in Mexico, seeing that the US is far and away the higher ranked league. In addition to the world football rankings, on transfer marks, Mexican football has been ranked the fourth best in all of the Americas in terms of value, behind Brazil, Serie A, Argentina's Liga Profesional and the MLS. So what's happened? Well, basically in Mexico, they've tried to bring in big name signings. Obviously, Chicharito has returned to his boyhood club at Chivas. Andre Piaginiak left France for Tigres, where he's been for nine years now. Then you have the likes of Sergio Canales, who formerly played for Real Madrid, now at Monterrey, along with Lucas Ocampos and Oliver Torres, who both won the Europa League with Sevilla. And then you have Solomon Rondon and Usama Idrissia Pachuca. But that simply just does not compare to the stars playing in the MLS right now. You have the Barcelona boys of Lionel Messi, Luis Suarez, Sergio Busquets, Jordi Alba, all playing for Inter Miami, along with Marco Ruiz in LA Galaxy, Lorenzo Insigne in Toronto as well. These are players that have played at the highest level, have won the biggest awards possible, and it's bringing the attention it deserves. So while the Liga MX has tried its hand at bringing in big stars, it simply just does not compare to what's going on in the MLS right now. And the stars they currently have have either passed their prime or they just don't have the pull factor to really bring in the fans. And let's talk about one of the more controversial things that happened in Mexican football in recent years. And that was the decision to get rid of the promotion and relegation system. Now, that decision was made during the COVID-19 pandemic back in 2020 because there was a lot of teams that were financially struggling. And the then president Enrique Bonillo basically decided to do that in order to help them financially, as it was reported that some of the teams were struggling with annual deficits up to 25 million pesos. And whilst that was decided as a good decision short term, it's because a long-term damage for the league. See what you have is that there's a few teams every year that are towards the bottom end of the table and they're not really investing in their players, in their management, in their infrastructure because there's no incentive to do so. Removing relegation simply means that teams don't need to try. There's no problems if they don't try. If they finish last they'll still continue playing against the best teams, go into the nicest stadiums and there's no financial struggles for them. And whilst there are fines for the teams that finish in the bottom two places, it's nothing compared to being relegated. And then you have teams in the second division who are doing very well for themselves. And theoretically, if they went on to win the second division year after year, nothing would ever happen. They get a financial prize, but it's not the same as getting promoted. And it looks like Liga MX has made no confirmation to whether things will change anytime soon. And what it does is it removes that kind of excitement for fans. There's nothing more exciting than seeing on the last day of the season, you've got a few teams that could get relegated, some may stay up. And then on the flip side for the teams in the second division, they could get promoted or they may stay in the second division. It just really removes that excitement for fans, whether they support those teams or they're neutral. And the shame is the officials of Liga MX have made no confirmation whether this could come back. There was talks of it coming back in 2026, but as of yet, there's nothing confirming that that's going to change. And then you have Mexico's decision back in 2016 to leave Copa Libertadores. The competition is South America's version of the Champions League and basically Mexico decided to leave it and stop their teams from competing because of financial and scheduling conflicts. The result of this has meant that Mexican clubs are unable to develop and test themselves against South America's best clubs like Boca Juniors, River Plate, the mighty clubs of Brazil, those in Colombia, Uruguay and many more. The result of this has led to a greater emphasis on CONCACAF tournaments, meaning that they're focusing more on the CONCACAF Champions League, which is a tournament for North American and Central American clubs, and also the newly created Leagues Cup, which is a competition between Mexican clubs and teams from the MLS. The criticisms of this decision have meant that teams are being left isolated, unable to compete against the very best in the overall region. And whilst, yeah, sure, they still play in the CONCACAF Champions Cup, it is a tournament that Mexican teams normally do win. One of the biggest critics to this decision was former Cruz Azul manager Ricardo Tuca Ferretti. 
The Brazilian stated that as a whole, Mexican football clubs are going to lack true exposure to grow and develop, not just as clubs, but individual players themselves. The overall feeling is that this has been a huge loss, not just for clubs, but for fans who love the intensity and the drama that the competition provides. So all of this together in terms of a lack of high profile players, getting rid of promotions and relegations and leaving the Copa Libertadores has meant that there's been a shockingly low number of fans showing up to stadiums. However, without all of this, fans have been reluctant to spend their money. And we've seen that particularly this season in the 2024 Apertura, with it going around on social media at stadiums like Puebla and Santos Laguna, places where you have big stadiums like 30, 40, 50,000 seater stadiums, and they've been recording as low as 6,000 people in attendance. Earlier this year, a report from El Universal came out and stated that this is the lowest attendance numbers that the league has seen since 2012. Not so long ago, Mexican fans were known for their unwavering and passionate support for their football clubs. But now seeing that these numbers are so low, especially in the big games between the likes of Cruz Azul, Club America, obviously you've got Chivas as well. So even in these games when these teams are involved and you see a plenty empty seats, it's a really sorry state for Mexican football. Even in doing research for this video, I saw critics pointing out that there's a real lack of interest for young university students in Mexican football. Mexican students are choosing not to watch the games, whether it's on TV or even in the stadium. And it seems like Liga MX officials aren't trying to do anything to change this. They've not changed anything to the actual league system itself. You're not seeing too many high profile players in the league and prices for tickets are still ever increasing every year. So ladies and gentlemen, where do we go from here? The popularity around Mexican football is on the decline. The overall quality on the pitch isn't getting any better. And the younger generation aren't falling in love with Mexican football the same way the older generations did. Whilst I appreciate it's not easy to bring in high quality players, they can certainly change things in terms of the promotions and relegations. And maybe a couple of things around continental football, which could help bring back the love for Mexican football. However, if Liga MX officials don't make any changes soon, we could see the league fall further and further behind from other leagues in the Americas, like in the MLS, Brazil, Argentina, and they could lose what has been quite a passionate and unwavering support from their fans. And we could start to see football fans from Mexico choose to support teams from the US, Brazil, Argentina, Canada, instead of teams within their own country. Ladies and gentlemen, they've been some of my thoughts about Mexican football. What do you think? Can things get better or is this a never-ending slope for a decline, a very sorry decline of Mexican football? I certainly hope not. But guys, it's been a pleasure. Until next time, peace out.